Hey guys, it's Cross. Welcome back everybody to Dawn of Man. Just sit back, relax and enjoy. And if you guys do enjoy this, make sure you give this video a like and also leave some nice feedback in the comment section. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the third episode now little playthrough. But so far I have to say that Dread has just contracted a disease. That's bad news for us. But I know it's only three episodes in, but I have to say that I absolutely love the game. Like it feels complex, but it just feels so brand new and refreshing. Like I just can't stop thinking about it. And I did mention in the previous episode that I would advance a little bit or at least gather enough knowledge points so we could advance to the new life age today. But um, you know what? I don't want to rush it. I want you guys to experience as much of the game as, as I do, because I think this game really deserves it. Is that Dread, old female? I guess she had it coming. The face of a white walker. Poor little old lady. Oh, just even get a little like plumber's crack over here. But anyhow, ladies and gentlemen, we need to slow down a little bit. I've been killing animals left and right, uh, and they're getting very scarce in the vicinity of our village over here. So I guess all we need to do is turn vegan for a brief, brief moment, get her as much berries as we can, and then when the uh oh. Oh no, she died. Oh no, Dread. I guess rest in pieces. Can somebody chop her up and throw her on the barbie? Oh, this guy's on the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, she's preparing. He's preparing to chop her up and throw her on the barbie. At the end of the day, that's gotta be free food. They just keep stealing from her. Man, I love it. This game just keeps on giving. <laughs> In this case, it kind of takes, I guess. But I was saying, let's turn our focus into berries and fruit and whatnot. And as soon as the wildlife returns, we're going to turn into beautiful carnivores again. But uh, for a brief moment, let's just eat some leaves, bark and, and grass, I guess. But first things first, here in the crafter, like those items over here, like the 12 skin outfits and 14 leather outfits, I thought this was items which we had stockpiled. But I don't think it is. I think this is what people are actually wearing at this stage, which means there's a lot of people which are nude with their hoofas and ding-dongs just flapping about, and it is scaring the kids a little bit. So what I need to do, I need to queue up more clothes, leather outfit and skin outfit, warmth 2, warmth 1. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna be producing that, so at least everybody in the community gets a leather outfit. I don't wanna use that, even though it's gonna keep us more warm in the winter time, but um, yeah, the dry skins are scarce, and they're also used to maintain the, the tents over here, when they need repairs. Z yikes! But what time is it? It's spring. Yeah, look at this for example, like, okay, we need to repair that and it's gonna be using one dry skin and one stick, so I don't want to use them up, and also we need some more firewood, so let's just chop up some trees over here. Let's take trees which do not give us tannin. Birch, get rid of birch. Birch, get rid of that birch. Do we have anything else over here? Beech, get rid of the beeches. Blackberry, blackberry, and this is what? Barley. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna temporarily remove this. We're gonna be reassigning areas a little bit. Uh, what is this? This is the work area, but only one person working in that big area. You know what? I'll remove it. And then, no and then, let's do this. Can I get more stuff in the background? Z nope, pretty much this. It is not too shabby. Let's put down the banner and let's assign like five people maybe. It's not going to be at all times, it's just going to be during the harvest season, I guess. Like, for example, this tree, which is fruit, I guess, can only be done in summertime. How about this? Summer. How about the strawberries? Summertime. And so on and so on. But however, like, those bushes, they're kind of perfect. I <laughs> mean, because they're just off our village. So I guess we will have a few people getting to them. Is there anything else in the backstage? I think we had, I think that was barley over there. Okay, you know what? Doesn't matter. Let's just replace it again. And let's have five people on this. Perfect. And if I go into this mode, we will see all the bushes and trees around. We do have a few over here. What is that? That is einkorn. Oh, do I see those animals? I just want to kill those animals. But let's not. Not yet. What is that? It is chestnuts, uh, fruit tree. Okay, I'm going to place one more work area over here. Yeah, like, if we can automate stuff like this, where people just go and harvest berries uh, all day long, uh, that would uh, make my life much, 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 much easier. This one, for example, the cherry tree. I mean, summertime, but why not just put down a banner? The only thing I'm worried about that areas are going to look super ugly because there's going to be banners all over the place. Might be a way we can kind of hide those banners, I guess, but uh, it does not matter. 
So there's gonna be cherry tree and there's gonna be summertime as well. Also, I did see where the crap was that I spotted. Was it up here? There's copper. There's two flint deposits just on the wall over here. Should we make use of those? I guess uh, we can. Work area, flint. I just do this, right? Get a few people assigned. And hopefully those will be mined. Because I think the same thing goes for tools. Like the tools we see here. That the 60 knives, they are used uh, by 32 people. So if I just do this, I will right click. Okay, make until we have one for each and single one sold in the community. Same for flint axes, picks, sickles, knives. I'm gonna wait with the bows because they will require dry skin. Yeah, this, I think this is the way to go. But let's just speed this up. Let's see what happens summertime. Also the fishes over here, as you can see, they do, uh, they do deplete. However, I mean, since this is a river, they should be coming back sooner or later. But yeah, look at that. Downstreams over here is plenty of fish. We do have 20 leather outfits, 12 skin outfits, but we need more leather. Like, I just can't help myself. We need to find some animals nearby and kill them. Like this boar, even though it's an adult, like what we should be doing is focusing on, like, on this guy, for example. He's an old male, right? He's gonna die anyhow soon. So let's maybe kill him before he dies and make use of the situation over here, right? Is there anything else close by which we can kill? Uh, by the way, is there more flint over here? Let's remove that because that is miles away. Who's this? Ibex. Male, adult, let's nod. There's plenty of cave lions, but that's gonna be a disaster. But yeah, close by our village, there's not much. There are some horses, I believe. And what I'm hoping is that wildlife is gonna return. Cave bear. I guess there's gonna be a little meat and skin and such, right? Everybody's gonna die. Where's the hunting party? Is this the only guy going out? No, we do have more hunters. Okay. It's so neat. Like, it kind of feels like they don't go the straightest way. They really, like, surround the animals. Uh, is that a wolf pup? I think it is. I guess what we could do with those guys is uh, tame them, right? Because that is dogs back in there. Look at this. Look at this approach. Okay. Woof! Yeesh! Oh, he's got a running skirt. Right in the butt, Kleika, and he is dead, ladies and gentlemen. This is how we do it, but only one raw skin, however. Do some meat and some bone, but uh, yeah, that's not much. Yeah, I was talking about those guys. The wolf. Yeah, look at that. We can capture that guy. Can you capture this one? Yeah, look at them. So what we can do is capture and domesticate that. Because it's going to be our little dog. It, hey, what are you doing over here? Did you just capture that? Yeah, 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 yeah! Gorka! Child female! Child labor is best! Hopefully you don't need them! Hope he, the chubby cheeks! Yep, she's definitely eating those. I see you, little girl. I be, I'm, be, I'm gonna be keeping my eye on you. Don't eat that. Get, get that into the community storage, hopefully. Uh, this tent needs repairs. And what I think is like, when it's highlighted like so, when something is just kind of spinning about it, it is auto-repaired. So let's not worry about clicking buttons, because I think they will just be auto-repaired as soon as uh, we get some skin in. And now berries are coming in. Berries and fruit. It's just only that we don't, we don't have enough people. And I don't want to expand either, because expanding might be bad, bad, terrible news for us. We have two points away from getting into Neolithic Age, so we might even have, get that happen today. Uh, yeah, look at those. Those are Plenty of people going back and forth here getting berries. New human was born. Just imagine, pooping them out and they look so, straight away. Hi, Egg. That would be amazing. Uh, see, this is what I mean. Chubby cheeks, baby, and a huge meat chunk. Where are you going taking that? Little girl, what? Ooh, she's gonna eat it. So amazing! This is, you know, I could, I could, I could just spend all day just watching people go about their daily routines, as I do in every single game, I guess. And by the way, those, those totem poles. I think this is what keeps them happy, or at least morale goes up. It, um, it kind of seems that way. And also, by the way, we have just reached 15 points, which means we could advance to the Neolithic Age. However, are we ready for that? What if bad things happen? We have 26 meat, 20 fish, 14 veggies, and that is not gonna last the winter whatsoever. 
So Neolithic age, what is going to unlock? Underground mining can be unlocked. Thatching, this is really uh, good for us. Because with thatching, I guess we can make hats instead of the tents. And they're not going to require uh, skins to be repaired. So I think that is something we really need. We can do well digging. Not really that necessary because we, uh, we live just off the river over here. Fortifications, palisade, gate, watchtower, wall, swords making. Holy crap! But let's start with that, because that's the basics. And I think what I'm going to do next is... Holy crap. That would give us the stone circle, which would be kind of neat. Bridge and donkey domestication. Weaver, outfitter, wool cloth, linen cloth. Goat domestication. Sheep domestication. Pig domestication. Pulse domestication. Flax. Oh my goodness. Fortifications. We don't really dare yet, but I think I'm gonna go for thatching, mainly so we can get some huts upgrades uh, and even stables, because I think stables are gonna be required for the gold domestication, sheep, and pigs later on. We will see. Let's just speed this up. Oh, something is unlocked. Uh, okay. Uh, Emmer, einkorn, and barley. Uh, click and hold, place a field. Okay. Testing purposes. Oh. Okay, so it can be like five tiles on five. Okay, this is kind of neat. Um, can anybody get this birch down, please? Any, what? No, no. Uh, did it die? I think it died. Old age. No way. <laughs> Such a sad -a community. Uh, I didn't care about Drad that much, but this dog, it has meant so much to the community, I guess. Let's, um, let's eat it then. Uh, Butcher. Such <laughs> a terrible person. But I mean, we can't dig dig it down or bury it. It is what it is. I do like this. Like, we made a crap ton of sledges in the previous episode, right? And people are using them left and right. Like, this guy, for example, he's chopping up the, the dog. Okay. Uh, don't. Little boy, turn around. This guy's chopping down the trees over here. Or is it just gonna be meat chunk? Okay. That is not the dog. I repeat, that is not the dog community. It is a dog. And he's gonna be getting the logs, right? How does this work? Boom! Done it! But the main problem here is that veggies going down, pulses, holy crap. This is gonna be a tough winter to survive. New humans has joined the settlement, three of them to be precise, with 37 people and capacity 42. I don't really need much more mouths to feed for the, for the, for the moment. But um, this barley field, I kind of want to place it over here, just to kind of try it out how this operates. Uh, it's not like that, Keralis. Okay, let me see. Don't worry, you get it. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got this. We've got this. And that is going to be barley. Hopefully, what the people are going to do, uh, they're going to plant this. Maybe not this year, because obviously it is fall. But they're going to see that uh, next year. What little boy is he doing? What is it? Where? Kagzor, what the crap are you doing in the in the... I hope you're not digging up the barley seeds. I'm watching you, little chubby cheek. Ooh, hi. Hi. Hey, hi. Who is this? Adult female. That's gonna be the male, right? And then we have the female female. But he's a stud, right? So he's gonna be making a lot of babies with those three ladies over here. So I, I'd rather just nod. I'd rather just kill, like, uh, what would we kill? Like, bigger animals. Oh my goodness, looky looky at my cookie, please don't. Um, yeah, there's no old pe <laughs> old uh, animals about. And I need some more skins for the people because the winter is coming. Mammoths, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, perfect. This one is almost dead. Health is gone down quite drastically. It's gonna die anytime soon. And if we can just make use of this, it's gonna be perfect. There's two females. Well, you're not going to be making any babies now, are you? Oh, no. We did it. Uh, we did get hurt a little bit, I guess. Is that boars? Or young boars? We can capture them later on and get pigs, I guess. But we did uh, kill two mammoths. There's seven leather. A skin, I mean. Nine skin and seven skin. That is going to... Uh-oh. Hi. Uh, adult female. I'm going to leave you. Just in case you find a, a partner somewhere about, I'm gonna spare your life, okay? However, I'm not sure why those guys didn't bring... Um, what are you gonna call it? The, the sledges. Because that would be a thing to do, I guess, but they are bringing back a crap ton of, of, of epicness. 
Okay, that is amazing. So now when we have that, let's queue up one, two, and three. There's gonna be six more of the skin outfits for the winter. Oh, traders here. Dog has gone through the disease. Times four? No way, don't die. Um, should we kill them before they die? Okay, this game is brutal. I love dogs. And and it kinda seems like they're not gonna survive. Look at this little pup. Oh, please don't die. This could be super sad if they do. But the trader has just arrived. And uh, whereabouts is she? She's over here. Trader stock. Well, what you got, sweetheart? You got some tannin? No need. Uh, grain? I'm gonna actually buy that just for some bread making. It's super cheap. Why not? Weaving? Please don't. Linen cloth? Would be a thing. So we get some, some grain so we can make some bread and whatnot. Man, I'm so sad about the dogs. Please don't let them die. <laughs> this game like it, it is slow progress i guess it is um I, 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 well in the beginning stages i guess it would be slow progress no a friend hyperfermia oh you had stiff nipples no we oh let her out but yeah it's stylish however i i like i like how it looks on you but um oh her little child okay that's even worse can somebody take that leather outfit look at this ladies and gentlemen we are cultivating the soil, the earth. I guess this is a, a little bit of a technical advancement in the community now, isn't it? There's going to be a crap ton of barley. We should queue up more of those guys, by the way. And we have seven points, which means straight off. Ugh, crap, look at through those again, Kiraz. No, touching. And the question is now, can I click a house and upgrade? Yes, I can. So I can upgrade houses straight off to, to huts. It's going to cost me one log, four sticks, two straw, and four mud. And that means mud can be extracted, I, I believe, from uh, from the rivers, right? Like a so? I guess like a so. And queue up like five people to that task for the moment. Okay, this is going to be super neat. However, let me see. Is anybody going to extract mud? Because I don't really want to start upgrading a bunch of houses until we get some mud in... Ooh, what? No, people dying. Left and right. Population reached 40. Okay, more people join the community. Humans died of old age. Okay, fair enough. You know, that happens. Just have to deal with that, I guess. But the question is, can we eat them? Uh, eye egg. I like eye egg. I think eye egg was a fantastic hunter. I remember her from the previous episode. It is a little bit sad. However, it seems like this dog survived. It just named dog. But uh, this dog is alive and thriving. Um, how about the pups? There's one more dog. Maybe they just grew up. Okay, so the dogs did not die from disease. Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, we're doing it. I'm going to start upgrading houses. At this stage, it holds three people. I'm wondering if that's going to hold more. But let's do, let's do two. Let's queue up two. And we'll see what happens. And I'm thinking, are you guys getting some mud? Traders just arrived. Uh, ooh, their outfits. How much is how expensive that is? Five. I guess I don't really need them, but it's better to get the leather outfits and trade stuff which I can obtain much easier. Like flint, for example. It's not easy to obtain, but it's a little bit easier, right? Fish, I guess not needed. Yeah, let's get some leather outfits. Um, maybe some bones. No. No, 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 no. And I'm going to trade away the one and only bow we've got in the community. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. <laughs> Terrible. Bad, bad, bad move. But, um, yeah. So now we have more leather outfits. Everybody should be dressed in the community. And how are we doing over here? You guys making clothes? Yes, you are. You beautiful faces. You have more of those. Not needed now, but uh, there's going to be another winter. Well, hopefully it's going to be another winter. Well, I don't really hope for a winter, but you know what I mean, right? But this is beautiful. I really want to see this up in action. I want to see my houses up in action. Okay, so they just deconstruct... Oh, they deconstruct them first. Which makes sense. Okay, this game. This game is absolutely fantastic. Did you guys see that? Child, I misclicked. So they deconstruct. They don't really upgrade and we lose the resources. They pretty much deconstruct, salvage the resources, and then we're going to build a new house from the new stuff. Oh, look at that. They're mudding. If you can call that. Okay, this is, uh, this is really nice. Look at this dog just chilling on the sledge. 
Uh, it does hold four people, however. So it is uh, it is a little bit bigger than the, the previous one. And the thing is, like, Prestige is two on this guy. Raw food can be cooked and eaten here. Also provides heat. Okay, this winter time is going to be a complete game changer, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to queue up more houses. Boom. Boom. You might be like, go, go don't go crazy. I'm going to go crazy on this first ring of fire, okay? Also, we would need some uh, some more wood to be chopped down. Uh, yeah, it might be very, very bad news for us. But it's spring. What possibly could go wrong? Man, I'm so in love with this game. Holy crap, it just, it's just fantastic. Does every single hut give us uh, one knowledge point? Because the next thing I want to do then is maybe... Uh, I don't think well digging is going to be a thing. Bridges? No. I think I'm going to go for the gold domestication. Because domestication. if we can get some golds in, that means... Oh, look at this. The barley has been, uh, started to grow. If we can get some... Uh, some um, oh, okay. So they will require wood. Which makes perfect sense because of the heat, right? But yeah, so there's going to be a lot of tree chopping. But I guess we could do this. We could deforest an area. I was talking about something, but I am completely, completely forgot. You have to excuse me, okay? I'm going to chop down all those trees over here. Then we're going to clear off the little uh, land over there. And we can move away some... some well, we can expand the village this, this way as well. Or even make uh, some farmlands. Oh my goodness, the wildlife is coming back. Ladies and gentlemen. We have the storage huts. We have the granary. A hut uh, or granary. <laughs> granary. Granary. Rock piles, wood piles, haystacks. Zzz, storage huts. Okay, in the backstages. Boom, done it. It was going to be a beautiful storage hut. Traders arrived. Perfect. Hi. Marden. What can I buy from you? Why the scary music? What is happening even? I would get this little letter outfit from you, and I'm gonna trade that for... You know what? No, I don't need anything. You just go away. Reader attack! Okay, that is why the scary music was a thing. Um, hide your children. How many? Just one? Oh no, holy crap! Uh, I'm gonna click one. I'm not sure. Okay, slow it down, slow it down. Oh my goodness. The battle cries and everything. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is amazing. So I guess one person from our community died and four of those guys. Yeah, it's pretty much just Ayeg. Okay, it's not fair enough. I mean, that, not bad. Oh, holy crap, we're happy. Does the morale go up? Yeah, I guess it does, right? Because it's kind of like a victory now, isn't it? Well, yeah, Kralz, it pretty much is. And look at this! The barley is being harvested. I love how they use ladders as well. Look at this, in the build process. They had like a ladder when they were building the, the roof, the thatch roof in. It is those small details. Okay, 14 points. Uh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna... No, look at that. Require for flint mine. I don't think we've seen a flint mine, have we? Or maybe we can build... Like, I mean, you know what? Ugh. Gold Keralis. How much points do we have, by the way? We have 14 points, so we can do two. So we can do gold domestication. Click that. We're also gonna do this. The underground mining. Just to obtain more flint. How's this warehouse coming along, by the way? Pending mud. Yeah, mud is a thing. But does that mean that I can now build myself production? Flint mine. So how does the one just build that? Can I just build it wherever? Or do I need to find like a, like a spot for a flint mine? Uh, I need to be placed in a flint deposit. Oh, is that a flint deposit over here? Oh my goodness. Have I been like an idiot? Because I've been depleting those guys by just mining them. But uh, I'm going to put this down over here. Nope, it is working. We have Mahruk over here, which is mining the underground. And uh, this mine has 60 flint in total. That should last us for quite a bit. And I did place one more over here. And how about this guy over here? 
50. Okay, so it's kind of different. Uh, are we mining? Well, hopefully somebody's mining over here. But uh, you know what? We have a situation with food. It is not looking that great. People are really depressed in the community. It's gonna it's gonna take a while until we can stabilize everything, I guess. One thing which I really need to do is over here. I need to uh, queue up myself some uh, bone harpoons. <sighs> How many bones do we have? Five. You know what? Let's not. Let's do. Let's do a crap ton of wooden harpoons. For fishing, that is, because we only have... Uh, how much do we have? We have only seven fishing tools. It's not great. And if we can get more fish out of this, that would be great. Okay, this has tons of fish again. This has tons of fish, and this has tons of fish. So everything here has come back to normal over here. Okay, hello on food. Please don't die. Please don't die. The morale is so low. Once I reach seven points, I'm gonna get into this, and I'm gonna build them a stone circle. Or something. Something which they will get happy of. Or maybe not really happy, but the morale goes up, I guess. We're making fishing tools? Please make fishing tools. Yes, we are. I mean, this is so cheap. It's only pretty much a stick, right? It's a stick, and we're gonna get a fishing harpoon, and more people will be equipped, and more people will be able to fish, right? Uh, and uh, fall. So that means winter's around the corner, and still meat. I tried going all vegan. It is not working for the community. Because we are eating berries very, very, very fast, it's gonna seem like. Uh, do we have anything to kill nearby? I don't want to kill stuff. Ibexes. You know what? What we could do... Um, let's uh, see. Can I do this? Build a residence and maybe get ourselves a stable up? Then maybe we can domesticate... Uh, I guess it's, it's gonna be the Ibexes, right? Uh, Ibex is a goat. And the Mufalon... I guess that is going to be some type, some type of sheep scenario, right? With wool. Oh, okay, that was back. Maybe. Maybe they can't even squeeze through that. So let's just push that back a little bit. Uh, stables? Let's just poop it down. Uh, like a soul. Like a soul. We'll see if we can domesticate some, uh, some animals. Um, which we can either milk or kill. Uh, that is an adult. So that is a no-go zone. I'm going to leave them be. How about... There's a lot of animals over here. Reindeer? Boars. I can't domesticate them yet. Is that mountain goats? Nope, that is mountain pigs. Z yikes, how does one find some uh, young ibexes, which I have not killed as I need yet? In worst case scenario, ladies and gentlemen, we will migrate. Mufalon, uh, we will migrate the whole uh, community somewhere where there's more animals about. But uh, like I'm hoping, what's going to happen is that wildlife is going to come back to us. Oh, come on, Ibexes. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we have young female Ibex. Please get that. Please capture that one. Do we have one more over here? Yes, we have. Um, not sure that the mommy, mommy uh, Ibex and uh, daddy mommy is going to be upset. But um, we will see. I don't guess they don't attack, right? Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, if we, if we can find our way back. Because we're so far away from, from base. Or maybe not. Is this our river fork? I think you press enter, right, to get back. Yeah. So, somebody's gonna go out and hunt them down, I guess, and we'll see what happens. But uh, resources have been gathered to this guy. Okay, slow it down. I'm gonna zoom in on the stables and we'll see how they do it. Okay, he's, uh, he's sneaking up on, on the stable build. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff like this is interesting to me. I don't know why. I just like how I, like, I just like construction in every single game. It does happen in stages, as you can see. Then we put down some mud over here. I guess that would be right. And then some thatch roofing. And uh, we have ourselves a our stables. Perfect. Um. But uh, the problem is we don't have any animals to put in it. So hopefully we can uh, we can capture those young ibexes and bring them back. Because that means goats. I'm not technically sure what it's going to be. If it's going to be milk, goat milk. That is a thing, right? Maybe, maybe yes. Holy smokes. And a trader is just alive. Sir. Oh crap. Stop it. Um, you sell goats. How expensive? 50. <sighs> that is a little bit too much for me, I guess. I'm gonna buy the meat. 
I am indeed. I'm also gonna buy, well, pretty much it. Pause domestication, we could buy that for 200. No, I can't afford. Straw, we have plenty. Logs, we have plenty. Don't need that, don't need that. Zzz. Let's say I would get one. Trade value, what the crap? Commission average. Oh, they do take a commission of some type. So the trade value of a goat, which normally costs 50, is now 70. Uh, sir? Are you kidding? Can, can we just uh, haggle a little bit? Is it haggling? I don't know if it's haggling, but I can't afford. I don't think they brought back any, did you? Nope, nothing, nothing yet. Space for one animal, we have none. Yikes, but we do have seven points, and with those seven points, I'm gonna spend that wisely. And you might be like, what you going to do? I'm gonna... Hmm. Chickpeas, lentils, peas. Man. That's gonna feed a lot of mouths, I guess. But sheep is not bad, because then we can get into this, the weaving. We can either trade it, or we can just use it for our peoples. What did I do? Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, what could possibly go wrong? Milestone animal control. Did we? Did we capture somebody? I think we did. I think they're bringing back uh, one of those ibexes. Hopefully one female and one male. Uh, young ones. And then we can maybe breed them even. But what has unlocked? Build and uh, this one over here. We do have the stone circle. How expensive is that even? Build, stone circle. Uh, that, ugh, what is this? I don't even have that. Does that mean... Is it this guy? Mine. Oh! So now we can mine those, the megaliths. And out of them we can build ourselves a stone circle. I know we don't have food, but... Believe, okay? Because if we can make a stone circle, then everybody's gonna be super happy. Dolmen is one of those. Uh, we could even place a dolmen inside the community. But uh, I'm not sure that's gonna be the wisest choice I've made. We could place it in the back stages. That is kind of cheap, so we can maybe try that to begin with. I mean, that is, I guess, kind of pointless. <laughs> well, it's not actually pointless, it's actually with a point. Okay, poop one of those guys down. I'm gonna poop him just here on the little, like, hill. That's gonna be the men here. It's gonna be the first thing we do uh, out of the... What are you gonna call them? The megaliths. <laughs> Crap, prepare for transport. You gotta be kidding me. Look at this! So we actually have goats. We have two goats. Adult female, adult female, and female. So we have three females. Okay, that kind of sucks because that's not gonna be any babies whatsoever made. But they are giving us milk, however. I saw a little milk icon over here, so milk is being produced. What is this? Oh, you're close. Uh, sir? Uh, this might end very badly. Hunting party? Where are you? Here's the first guy. Got it. Perfect. And that should be raw skin. One guy. One guy only is pushing this. Two people, I guess. Bangor. <laughs> this is so sweet. Holy crap. Ah. Our little community, man. Okay, don't, don't clip for the building. Okay, we'll go for the stables. I don't mind. There is an entrance. Stone might be too big, but hey. I don't judge. Okay, they're rising the stone. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it! So we get some knowledge points and hopefully people can come, come by and pray. Well, this gives give us a little bit of prestige. And I guess the next thing we need to focus on is maybe even getting the, the stone circle or dolmen up and running. But I am happy with this. However, yeah, we do require some more warm clothes, so let's queue up one, two, three. There's gonna be six more outfits, and we do have... This is only 20 in the community. Mm-hmm. And we have how many people? 43. Okay, we need more of those. Uh, I don't want to waste all the skins. Mainly because... Uh, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Okay, that should be quite plenty enough for us. What is happening? We need logs. Uh, are you guys chopping down forest over here? This is a cut down, please. Oh, okay, no. We are under attack again. Where the crap are those guys? This is the second time we get under attack in a very, very short time uh, time period. 
Humans have been killed too. Readers killed. Uh, knowledge. Perfect. Done it. Didn't Brevar has died. A raider, raider, and a bone harpoon. So yeah, I guess somebody, because the bone harpoon is here. Or maybe the raiders drop it. I don't know how that operates. Look at this Ibex, young male. Perfect. Ibex, young male. Always gonna be babies. <laughs> don't milk those guys, because that's gonna be... That's not gonna be tasty milk now, is it? Yeah, I'm strange. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Man, this game, it just keeps on giving. I'm loving it. How are we doing on the goats? How many do we have? Can I see that somewhere? Because I know there's a goat, right? My dog's over here. That's another goat. There's another goat. Milk? Milk or slaughter? I don't know. I don't want to choose. For the moment, let it just be. Let them just give us milk. Traders arrived. Perfect. We can end off this episode on a trader. What you got? You get some outfits. Don't need that. Some bones. I'm actually going to buy the bones. Might be needed for a harpoon or something. So let's get two bones and I'm gonna I'm gonna trade away. What do we trade away? Some wooden harpoons. Because we have plenty of them and just sticks, and we have plenty of sticks as well. I'm gonna get the bones, leather outfits, please don't. Straw no. I would buy the gold, but it's so freaking expensive. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Kiralis. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. And by the way, let's just queue up a few extra leather outfits. There's gonna be six more, and that should mean every single one in the community. We'll have that. Food is of an issue. However, bread has been produced. Quite plenty of bread for the winter. We do still have some flour. We do have some fish. And uh, meat is not a thing. I'm not sure what is happening with the berries and such. Uh, maybe we do have tons of people doing different chores. Do they just require water? Because if that is the case, that is... No, they need straw as well. That should not be a big thing, because we should be having plenty of everything. However, what I'm going to do, not in Trasma Corrales, boom, and boom. Just to get the strop for the for the goats, because those, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, three females is too amazing. You, you better make babies, because I want to see stuff happen. And in the next episode, we're going to start upgrading those houses, obviously, because those guys are a little bit freezing, and they also require, like, the skin to, to repair or maintain. Or maintenance. Uh, I'm not sure what those guys require, but logs is a thing they do require, so that's kind of sucky a little bit, but uh, so far we have plenty of trees, so let's not worry about that. We have 48 people, 15 points, which we're going to spend wisely in the next episode. Ladies and gentlemen, so far we are thriving. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and let me know what you think about this game, okay? Do check out the links in the description because this game has tons of potential. It is super interesting and super fun to play if you're into games like this. But I'm Kiralis and I'm, we'll see you guys in the next episode. So have a very, very, very nice day. Kiralis, over and out. Bye-bye.